Joey DeMaio. And just crushes the string of the bass. I burned up a hundred picks and broke 12 strings in one hour. For delivering the loudest performance on a stage. Only because I was foolish enough to spend the money and the time to research how to break uh, the record. With legendary guitarist Michelangelo Badio. <laughs> Hi everyone, today I want to talk about very strong and slightly controversial for somebody person in history of music. This is an absolutely amazing musician and a bass player named Joey DeMaio. Born in New York in 1954, virtuoso bassist, engineer, public speaker and the leader of heavy metal icons Man of War. The band that has been leaders of the heavy metal scene since its inception until this day. When I started looking for information about him for this video, I was surprised how little was written and filmed about Joey. He started playing at 10 years old. He played in several high school bands in the 70s. How did he get into music? I saw the Beatles on Ed Sullivan when I was 10 years old, and it was October of 64. And I said, well, my God, that's definitely for me. Nothing could be more perfect. Long hair, girls screaming, play a guitar. So what year was that? 1964. There were bells on a hill. By the way, this is not the only case in history of music when this famous performance prompted somebody to become a musician. He took a couple music lessons and immediately launched into music. Let me tell you a few words about biography of Manowar for those who may not be in the know. Joey DeMaio founded Manowar in 1980. He was originally the bass tech and pyrotech for Black Sabbath. When Sabbath played a show in Newcastle City Hall in England, he met original, future original guitarist of Manowar, Ross the boss, who at the time was playing in Shaking Street, Sabbath's opening band. Since they both shared an all-consuming love for heavy metal, they soon came up with the idea to create a Manowar. Joey came up with the idea to invite Eric Adams, his old friend, to Manowar, and it was not easy to convince him to play with them. Joey uh, called me when he was working overseas with Sabbath. Mm. He called me and he said, uh, look, I, I got this guitar player here, he's from New York. Uh, we're jamming backstage and we want to get a band together and I told him I know the singer and I told him I said not interested. But in the end everything worked out and a band was formed. Manowar recorded their debut album in 1982, it was called Battle Hymns. It featured chilling narration by legendary actor Orson Welles for the track Dark Avenger. He was met at the gate of Hades by the guardian of the lost souls, the keeper of the unavailable. The group is known for its kind of fantasy theme, where warriors fight with swords, axes and hammers, dragons, wizards, etc. Interestingly, Manowar was the first band to use this theme, the theme that eventually became the basis of genre power metal. The band released about 14 studio albums. Each of the albums had its own sound concept. They are very different from each other in terms of sound production, but the sound always was there. During the career, there several changed drummers and guitarists, but the core of Manowar, bass and vocals, always remained unchanged. By the way, Joey produced not only guitars, and drums, bass and lyrics, but also full choirs and orchestras for Manowar songs. One, two, three. I don't want to go further to the details of history of Manowar, since there's a million videos about that on this topic. Unlike the hero of my previous video, Joey is known for being very active and energetic on the stage. <laughs> Joey has a completely unique bass sound. That's what I respect the most about musicians. The key point of DiMaio's sound lies in his highly modified equipment. Definitely something worth paying attention to is the construction of his bass guitars. In many ways they resemble heavily modified Rickenbackers. At the beginning he played a regular Ricks, but then he modified him so the strings 
are very close to each other. This base is one of his custom demon bases made by John Dark Stillwell. His powerful ends was also made by John. Armed with this arsenal, he plays at the speed of light with colossal and powerful time burst. His picking is ferocious and just crushes the string of the base. I burned up a hundred picks and broke 12 strings in one hour recording that piece. He plays the bass much like a guitar, you know, power chords, distortion, plectrum war, and also sometimes he incorporates technique, flamenco technique called resguido. <laughs> During the solos he used sometimes a piccolo bass. And the piccolo bass, uh, the spring, space, string spacing is so narrow and the action is so low that you, it's, it's hard work, I can't play it. And also known for using eight string bass. <laughs> For those who don't know, it's a bass, which has, in addition to usual four strings, additional high strings that build up an octave up. At the beginning I say controversial, because he has a kind of mixed reputation for someone. Some people think that he doesn't know how to play technically, but just makes some random, you know, noisy sounds without tonality and rhythm. You know what? He does it on purpose, trust me. If you think that Joey cannot play it clean and steady, just check this out. He replaced with legendary guitarist Michelangelo Badio, who now is official member of Manowar. In the 1984, Manowar was included into the Guinness Book of Records for delivering the loudest performance on a stage. Only because I was foolish enough to spend the money and the time to research how to break uh the record so that no one would ever be foolish enough to spend that kind of money and put in that kind of time and effort scientifically. One thing that I really respect about him is that he says this music is a lifestyle and you can only live that way because you were fortunate enough to burn with a great love for music. I think this kind of music uh, is something that is a lifestyle. I was fortunate enough to fall in love with this style of music thanks for watching hit like and subscribe to my channel hit the bell so you'll be notified about new videos automatically cheers have a nice day